Hi, I'm Dr Tony Keogh. I'm one of the emergency physicians at Dereford Hospital in Plymouth. Uh, my talk is about the demographics of major trauma and how that's going to influence the tools and the processes, the decision making and the treatment for major trauma patients over the next decade. We've always assumed that major trauma was a disease of young men. When we look at the data in reality, what we've discovered is that in fact there are many, many more older and super old patients who suffer major trauma than young patients and their needs are going to be very different. Not only that, the tools that we have used when setting up our trauma networks to try and direct patients to the right place, to try and activate trauma teams and to compare outcomes between centres are not going to work if the assumptions were based on assumptions that our major trauma population was young, whereas in fact they're old and probably have significant comorbidity alongside it. So, the bad news is that the tools don't work. Triage won't work, trauma team activation won't work. The good news is that there is a significant amount of good we can do for elderly patients. Elderly patients with blunt chest wall trauma can be successfully treated with thoracic epidural, PCA and uh, physiotherapy. And this measures like this and having a multidisciplinary team approach, cohorting elderly trauma patients in the same place and treating them almost as if they were elderly patients with hip fracture on an orthogeriatrician unit. Measures like that will probably have more impact on the mortality of major trauma than many of the other advances that we've made in the last few years with things like hemorrhage control and tranexamic acid. So it's a major problem, but I think there's a lot we can do to improve it.